Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome to episode 50, half a century of Altrincham. And to celebrate, we've got transfers galore. And we are finally in the conference. <laughs> finally in the conference sounds quite sad, doesn't it, really? But we're in the conference and we've done a bit of good business, right? I think we've made some really good transfers. As I suspected, us going into the uh, to the Vanarama conference is... It's not much of a jump. It's not like suddenly like, oh, yeah, you know, we'll get a 38-year-old Tim Cahill. I don't know why I said Tim Cahill. It's probably 45 by now. But, you know, it's still the conference at the end of the day. So it's not a massive step up. But I've definitely strengthened the side. But first of all, the big news is that Alex John is out on loan. He's only out on loan. So here's Alex John, right? He was one of our best early youngsters, okay? He's been all right. He's, he's done all right. The trouble is he hasn't quite developed as much as we'd hoped, as much as Madison. He's not quite quite got the potential. And he's 20 now. And rather than him being a peripheral member of the squad for this next season, because we've signed players and everything, I thought I'd give him a loan. He's gone to Hereford, which is not bad. Are they in the same division as us? Hang on. No, are they? Okay, they're down in the south. Um, and hopefully get games and get a bit more experience and get a bit better and then we'll reevaluate. I'm starting to think he might he might not make it, boys. He's been look, he's been one of our mainstays the last few years. He he'd had a better sort of goals and assists this season, but the rating wasn't great. He was wayward with his passing, he's not improved enough. And also Jordan Wright, our goalkeeper, has left us as well, sadly. Um the reason being we've got a better goalkeeper now. And he was on relatively high money. So we loaned him out last season. He played awful in the Evo Stick Northern Premier, which is not a good sign. And now, of course, he signed for Swindon, Ta Swindon? Sw <coughs> Swindon Town. Easy for me to say. In League Two. I'm going to assume he's not going to get game time. Um, he might be there for a backup. But good luck to him. Uh, but yeah, so that's that's the only outs. There's release players. Um, some of the youngsters, uh, John Johnson, who was that old crappy bloke, Liam Marsden has finally left. Well done, Liam. We're going to miss you, Liam. You were average at football, um, <laughs> which is which is good for this level. A consistent player is is worth their weight in gold. Maybe not gold. Maybe it's worth their weight in bread. I'd say um, Brett Olsen, Jonathan Khan, other youngsters that never came in. Sydney Henderson, Lloyd Hardcastle, Tim Lyons, Chris Owens, Regan Upton has also left us. Um, it's time for him to go because he's he's not aging. That's the problem I've got with him. He looks like an eight year old and he's twenty six. So, bunch of released players, um, which is always going to happen. And let me show you what we, we spent twenty grand. We got some free transfers. We got a bunch of loanies and a couple of little fruity numbers. So, first off, we've got Carlos Quintas, the Portuguese magician. Okay, he's just a, an average backup centre-back. But he's 18 years old. He's capped at under 20 for Portugal. And that's not bad, right? He's wanted probably for loan, isn't it? Yeah. He's, 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 not, he's a Man United. Oh, I'll have to sort of scrub the Man United off him. But other than that, he's not a bad little young player. Just as a bit of more squad depth, really. Um, I don't think he's on a great deal. 100 quid a week. Perfect. Now, this, I'm quite excited about this. We talked about needing fullbacks and wingers was our main areas of improvement needed. And we and it's really hard to find good fullbacks. But we found one, and that's Barry Leverington from Bradford City. £20,000. Oh, this guy is going to be very good. He could be with us for an, a good few years. I think he's a quality player with bags of potential. He's got good physicals. He's got marking and tackling as, as 12. We'll put him on fullback so you get to see. Not the best going forward, but he does have 10 dribblings. So not, but it's just this mainly his crossing. But teamwork, positioning, concentration. There's no real massive weak, obvious weak areas in his game. And he's only going to get better. He's also a good leader. Teamwork 15, leadership 15. He's captain material. I'm really happy to pick him up. Um, his contract had run out at Bradford, so I could just give him a contract, but that would have I would have had to pay seventy five thousand pounds in compensation. So rather than just kind of waiting, and and if he gets released or not, I thought just pay the twenty grand. Right, we're, we're decent money. He's not played much games, or he's never played for Bradford, but he did go to Tamworth in the division below a couple of years ago. Played, the, yeah. So. I reckon he's going to be very good. He's going to be our first choice right back taken over from Marsden. Then we've got Diogo Cabral, who is another Portuguese player. 
I've got three Portuguese players. There's no rhyme or reason. He's 18. He's also capped at under 20 level. It could be like the Brazilians where every every player is capped at under 20 level. But here's another central midfielder with some really good mentals. He's got good passing, so he's more of a deep line playmaker more so than a central midfielder. We can use him there as a puss, but he push, a puss. Um, but he's got 18 determination. He's driven. He's got great decision-making, really aggressive, dives into tackles. He's a bit of a Roy Keane. He dives into tackles, but he can't, He's not that great at tackling, which which basically Paul Skulls. He is Paul Skulls because his passing's good. He is. He's Paul Skulls, isn't he? Because he dives into tackles. He's aggressive, but he's shit at it. I'm. I think Paul Skulls is one of the best players to grace the Premier League. But he, no one can tell me he was good at tackling. He was like a Bambi on ice when it came to tackling. Um, yeah. So some some weak areas in his game, but I think 18 years old, bags of talent. I think that's great. Another. Man United reject. Next up, we've got Dan Butler. He's the last of our free transfers, and he is a left-back option, backup rotation, maybe first-team challenge. A um, bit more experience, and not. I didn't want, like, too many youngsters. He's much more attacking. He's got 10 crossing, a uh, decent amount of pace, but good stamina. He's going to run all day, which is really important for fullbacks. obviously. Gets forward whenever possible. 10 and 11 for marking and tackling, the main sort of two. Um... I don't know why at this level, but all fullbacks seem to be defensive fullbacks, despite the fact he's clearly not, and he likes to get forward. When it, so that's the opposite of a defensive fullback, but that's what the game says he likes. So there's, he's not great, but like I said, fullbacks are hard to find, okay? And then, now we go on to our loanies. We do have a new um, parent club, and that is Birmingham. Stephen Maurice Jones, on loan from Wrexham. He is a backup winger, basically. Uh, Captain under 19s, really rapid crossing. He's got the basics of what you need to be a winger, apart from you can't pass, which I suppose is kind of important for a winger. But he'll, he'll do as a backup left back. He's got bags of talent, so I'm hoping that we can maybe pick him up, give him some game time. If he does well, we'll pick him up. Um, he played for Wrexham in League Two last year, obviously sub appearances, but that's not bad. Then we've got James Bonks from Birmingham on loan. He is our new. Fight for the right back position. This guy is a beast as well. So right back, we're bloody. We've gone from Marsden, who maybe in the last couple of years has been a bit turdage, to this guy and the other guy who are beastly. I'm just going to let him fight it out. Obviously, my you know Leverington's going to have the edge because he's my player, um, and he, we need to play him to get him to improve. But that's fantastic. Um, he can play centre back, but he can't head or jump. And he's five foot nine. So, no, he can't play centre back. But he can play DM if, if desperate. Then we've got Stephen Brennan from Nottingham Forest, who is a, just a backup striker option, Irish. Um, he's all right. Can't finish. Good. But he can dribble. Excellent. Um, so, <laughs> brilliant. I've really bigged him up. I? But I just needed a bit more depth. He's not, I don't plan to start him. He's there just to make up the numbers without having to pay for numbers. Then we've got Steve Brinkley from Middlesbrough on loan, and he is our backup right wing option. Now, he's very physical, very quick, loads of flair, determination is good, dribbling's okay. When you've got flair, you really want good dribbling, but he's got good technique, good work rate, his crossing's not the best, but he'll do a job for us on this right hand side as backup, so that's nice. And then we've got Simon Milborn from Sunderland on loan, um, who's going to be our backup goalkeeper. Because, you know, I don't like paying money. So we've got a nice, well-rounded team, I'd say. We're going to play the first game of the season now. And I think we're still we're still a little bit weak at centre-back. We've got lots of people that says they can play centre-back, but that just they just can't. So I will keep looking. We've still got a couple of weeks of the transfer window left. So I'll keep looking for another centre-back option. Because I would like one. Um, <clears throat> what I will do is kill... Do I want to offer him out for loan or just put him in the reserves? He's, I don't think he's ever going to make it. I'll offer him out for loan because he needs first team football. We've got two left left mids now. Um, I don't need... You can have him for free. I, I'll pay the 50 quid, right, a week wages. I'm, you know, I'm nice like that. So, as according to the league, I haven't looked at this. Where do they expect us to finish? 13th. I'll take it. The board, I think. Oh, I've got some other news as well. Um, yeah, so we've got um, Birmingham. They're paying us 25 grand a year as well, which is quite nice. It's actually a decent chunk of money. Birmingham are rich, apparently. 
Try telling that to Birmingham fans. Um, what was the other thing I was going to show you? Yeah, what we expect to do this season. Fanorama, avoid relegation. Loving that. Uh, FA Cup, first round, FA Trophy, third round. I was going to say, I, th I thought they were going to go, nobody gives a shit. Money is looking good, but we have, we are improving the youth facilities again, my friends. 600 grand, I think it cost in total, but it will be done before the next youth intake. And we've had two pretty bad youth intakes, right? So we're due one, and with better youth facilities, we're going to have a decent setup. I'm telling you now, boys. We're going to have a decent little setup going there. So we, we deserve it. Right. Let's pick our first team. We're going to stick with what the formation, the 4-4-2 of dreams. Ashby Hammond is definitely our first choice goalkeeper. Now, right back, it's, it's going to be a fight between Banks and Leverington. We're going to start with Leverington because he's one of our own. He's one of our own. Barry Leverington. We just bought him. Now he's one of our own. And then we're going to go at left back. We've got... Got Dan Butler, and I can never remember if these are he's a centre back. What the fuck? He's stolen my face! <laughs> right, uh, that scared me. Um, we've got Steve Baines that can fill in there. We've also got Joel Spooner. We oh yeah, we retained. We had him on loan last year. We've got him on loan again because he was decent. Like without being exceptional, I just wanted. I didn't want to have to sign two left backs, so I'm gonna go with Steve Baines. That is, I'm learning. The trouble is they play so many positions that they can't play. So that's not, see, I've, I've gone wrong. It's Dan Butler. It's not even close to the name, is it? Right, Dan Butler, who can't play his centre back. But he can play left midfield as well if we get desperate. So that's good. Always nice to have those options. We're going to go with Steve Baines as our left-sided centre back. And we're going to go with Kane Baldwin as our right centre. Like I said, I'm going to keep a lookout for centre backs, but... Like rare as rocking horse shit, my friends, at the moment. <clears throat> um, Cabral is a central midfielder, but he can fill in at right back as well. So we've got nice depth on the fullback positions. In the central midfield, today's players will be. I can't remember. Right, we're going to go a path ski. Because Fabio's Portuguese, so we've, we've got three Port uh, Portuguese players now. Right, Fabio on the left. The pass, I'm going to stick with the team that got us to where we are. And then we're going to go Will Patching and David Reed. And then up front, we go for the ever amazing Lee Madison. And we're going to go, cause we'll start with Carmo Farland because he had a great end to the season. So we'll give him games. We still can't make fucking have seven subs, which is just, it's just really annoying. Man. It's really annoying. Um, and then we're going to have Banks, then Cabral as our centre mid, and then we're going to have Brinkley, and then striker Aaron Jarvis. Um, yep, didn't want playmaker, winger attack, everything's good, apart from you two. And I think, um, what do you prefer, mate? Central, okay. Oh, I don't want to make you a stopper. Stepping out of position. No, no, mate. <laughs> just, just no. All right. Just no. Kane Baldwin. Okay. <clears throat> keep it simple, Kane. All right. Keep it simple. Right. And we're going to play the exact same as we did last season. We are playing Woking or Woking. And I just want to see where they're predicted to finish. Just to see how this first game goes. They're predicted 10th we're predicted 13th so it's away from home so i'll take a point in this first game um little madison update beep, 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 beep. madison update he's, oh, he's he's got my face as well now fucking brilliant fucking oh sports interactive how do you not f f fix that shit he's got 12s on the ball i've just realized this um um i can't fucking remember how to um, I can't remember where it is because I'd never really train them traits. Is it te is it technique? What's dwells on the ball? Movement. I worry about that after the game. Fucking hell! I'm not reading the yellow pages. Just want to tell him to stop dwelling on the ball. Right? <laughs> I'll do. We'll worry about that afterwards. Right? Here we go, boys. Very excited. 
I reckon I'm gonna I'm gonna say now where we're gonna finish. We are gonna finish tenth. And I think that would be a fantastic season if we can finish tenth. Bakayoko. Is that used to be a quite a good player, Bakayoko? No. Different one. Right. Yeah, I reckon tenth. I think we've improved as a side. I don't think there's a massive difference between the the local conferences and the national conferency thing. So we'll see. Can I'm a little bit worried about McFarlane because he was, let's say, sporadic is the word I'd use last season. And we are, we got it on. No, we want key highlights, please, mate. <clears throat> and Aaron Jarvis is, did okay. But maybe there's room for another striker if I find somebody that can really actually start games. Leverington's got his first yellow card. That's fine because we've got a good backup right back. Is that man named Dick Steele? Oh my God, his name is Dick St or Dyke Steele. However you want to... <laughs> How is that a name? That's amazing. Let's I'll scout him. Oh, a fucking... S oh my God. Okay, it was a Pavsky's fault. They sort of scissor. Synchronised destruction. I quite appreciate it. Right, Long, we know you can't save penalties, so let's just move on. <laughs> We've discovered this in the penalty shootout. I'm, I'm thinking of Brisbane. I'm thinking of a journeyman save, aren't I? His name's not Long, is it? Sashby Hammond. I've just had a journeyman flashback. <clears throat> right, here we go, boys. Don't worry about it. Oh, God. Just, it's going to take a couple of games for all to get used to it. Oh, that's a decent ball. Can he find a ball across? No, selfishly shot. Interesting to see if the attendances go up. I don't think... We'll have a check afterwards, but I don't think my wages have gone up drastically. I want to try and keep them nice and low. So, I'm hoping that, you know, maybe another three, 400 people turning up to the games, similar wage budget, will start making even more money. McFarlane, fine Madison. Get there first. Yeah, decent. Oh, you've got to score that, Maddie. <sighs> got to make the step up, lad. Got to make the step up to the big leagues, yeah? Okay, it's not... The ratings are suggesting we've, we're not playing our best game. This counter-attacking strategy always m makes our ratings not great unless we're smashing people. Okay. One of down at half-time. It's pretty even. Um... Um, I just say unlucky, boys. I'm not going to get on their back straight away. This is the first game, right? We're just learning the league. But we are going to mix things up. Oh, fucking hell, I can't remember the... Banks is a right back, right? LeBonk is a right back, okay? You're a central midfielder. I'm going to give you a go. I want to get these players bedded in as quick as possible, really. Do I go for a triple sub? Am I that crazy? Oh, I fucking am that crazy. <sighs> Mental, lads. He's got mental. Now I guarantee injuries in the second half. All right. <clears throat> half time. Triple subage. What is the world coming to? How quickly will I get an injury? Like 58th minute, something like that I'm going with? All right. Ashby Hammond. Magoma. Oh, Magoma. Maggie. Maggie. Maggie's playing for him. All right. A lot of you won't even know that player. But he used to play for us. What's a pot of time in a different world, in a different land, on a different universe? Magoma. Okay, Baines is tired. And playing terribly. Um, I'm not saying show some passion. Just uh, encourage. Oh, go on, Madison. Go on, take a touch. And another touch. Oh, man, that's just really bad. <laughs> Madison's not had the best game, has he, to be fair? All right, let's go attack him. He's missed the... Oh, yeah, he's he's not looked like scoring. That's about the politest thing I could have thought of to say. He's not looked like scoring, is he? Right, winners. Nice one, Bainesy. Right, Jarvis. A path ski. Needs to find a ball forward. That'll do. Sideways. Jarvis. I'm liking this. Banks. Good ball across. Oh, unlucky. Banks has got it back. Patching. Had a quiet game. Not really seen him this, this game so much. But he's got it to Banks. Should we call him Banksy? Oh, that's unlucky. Get it back in. Oh, God, not there. It's the only place we didn't have a man in the box. We'll call him Banksy. <clears throat> Do you know 
Just don't tell anyone. Right. Win it back and counterattack. Yes, Cabral, the new Portuguese wonder kid with a proper lunch. He's jump for headers, target. You're a target man. It's literally your job to try and win headers and stuff, okay? It just doesn't bother. <laughs> right. Oh, Cabral's done really well. Parsky follows it across. Madison! Oh, my word. Madison, Madison. He's having a mare. Oh, Maggie's injured. Oh, sorry, Maggie. That's a different Magoma, isn't it? Because he wasn't a centre-back. Okay, Madison's playing a 6.2. So he's he's got better. Winners. Okay. Butler, what have you got in your locker? He's on your left-back. That'll do. Lovely. Fabio, why just shoot? Okay, different. Oh, Jarvis. Yes! Get in there. Something, something just fell off my arm. Any fingers? No? Okay, good. Probably just dog air. Come on, Jarvis. Butler to Baines. Flick to no, Fabio just weirdly floats the ball to the back, 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 back post. But we got there eventually. And Jarvis has come on and nicked a goal. He can't head a ball or jump. But he's got a goal in his locker. And my predicted result is going to look like it's going to come true. Unless we can sneak a second. We've dominated in the second half. In fact, how have we not won this game? We've created... Well, Madison. Ma the reason's Madison, isn't it? Why we haven't won this game. I love you, Madison. And I'm sure you'll come good. But fuck me, you're awful. That's awkward. Just got two goals. <laughs> Just got two goals in two minutes, boys. He stole my face. Maybe that's why he was missing all those chances. Madison, what a player that boy is. Yeah? He keeps trying. That's what I like about him. He misses a couple of chances. Doesn't give up. Just buries it in the top bins, and it's suddenly 2-1. Fully deserved, might I add. And we have nicked it. We have stolen win over from the jaws of defeat. Oh, yeah, you know the saying. Right. Excellent, boys. Fucking excellent. What a way to start. See you later, walking. You're going down to Chinatown. Because it's what walk, you see. Pun. Right. <laughs> Thank you very much. Suck up. Kane, you suck up. All right, Pavsky with the assist. They've all got my face. Am I that good? They've all just tattooed their, my face onto them in pre-season. Um, yeah, you've got an assist, so we'll say that. Oh, good. First team regular. Newcastle? Oh. Um, both of them are first team regular. Where are they? Uh, yeah, go to bed. Have a choice, mate. Have a choice. <clears throat> oh, Newcastle have fallen from grace, haven't they? Right, as I said, Madison, what a player that is. Um, we don't know the sort of attendances yet and finances stuff yet, but we're making money. If we have, that's the wages I wanted to look at. Yeah, we've done well, boys. That's when we released all the players and stuff like that, but then we bought in, but a lot of them were loney. So we've reduced it back to where we were maybe a year ago, which is amazing. Well done, me. Pat on the back. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Right. Can we get, we've got full staff, we've got a decent setup. We probably could, I want to ask if I can have another physio. Like a chief doctor or somebody would be nice. Um, can I have another, f please? Oh, they've just said yes, like normal people that would agree to it. We can have another physio, I'm so excited about that. I'll also get rid of Madison's uh, <coughs> dwells on ball. Right, there we go, my friends, done for another day. We are probably not top of the league, but quite close, fifth. We are fifth in the league, so we are fifth in the league. Playoffs. I'm, I'm still saying tenth. Not going. Not getting overboard over one result. Let me know in the comments where you think we're going to finish this season. What magic are we going to perform? Be honest. Don't go crazy. Just give us and and why and what the weakness is. You know, just make comments. Really, just comment. You can comment wherever you like. Say something random. Tell me a fun fact about yourself. I don't know. I've gone off script here. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.